Okay, here we are. Welcome to Stroker Brown. Patreon. This is for my Patreon people. I have gotten to the point in driving trucks and trucking and the trucking industry where I just want to, I want to give every piece of knowledge I know to away to the Patreon people. And these series of videos for the new people who are new, we're going to break down the subtle things that experienced drivers do to make more money. We're going to talk about pay scale in the series. We're going to talk about the secrets that these YouTubers use to make more money and then brag to you that you're not making more money. We're going to break it down. If you like this series, I need to see a comment under it. I don't get anything on Patreon for a comment on it. It just tells me what is what you want to see. I don't get nothing for it. It doesn't help an algorithm on Patreon or anything. Pay attention. The first thing you need to understand about how the really, really successful people make money in trucking is time management, good maintenance, because that works whether you are a owner op or not, and recruiting. Recruiting is the secret, shameful thing that most of these guys are doing. If you come into this, this business and you think that the honorable thing is just to stay down and not drive the most miles, you're a fucking fool. Period. My first introduction into recruiting was one time some dude recruited himself. I was at a uh, 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 melting down Madrid, Ohio, and I was pulling out. I go to a truck stop, and a guy just walked up to me and said, "What is it like over there? Are you ha- are you having a good time over there?" And I said, "Yes." He was like, well, "Do they give you cards so I can call them and give you uh give you credit for recruiting me?" And I'm like, "Recruiting you?" But they did give us cards, so I, I shot him a card. Whatever. I'm working at Melton back in the day. I'm getting 37 cents a mile. My checks were eight ish because I was I, I was wild boy. You know, I was an out running nutty. You feel me? So I was a wild boy. My check was two thousand dollars. And I said, what the fuck is this? I called the place and said, woo 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 my check, woo 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 Oh, well, you had two recruits. Apparently, he took that card, and him and his buddy went. And it's then they gave me $500 apiece. And I used to wonder why I would be getting recruited at a truck stop. Oh, I used to hate that. I'd be, for my whole career, oh, man, well, then you trying to go somewhere that's real good, come here. You trying to go somewhere real good, come here. You trying to go somewhere. It'd be guys that usually do it at the Fuel Island. You stunned. Then once I realized, you know, what was going on, oh, okay, I would give a card out to a distressed driver. And that's how it started. Driver angry at the shipper. And I'm a car. We don't go through that where we at truck breaks down hey man uh, i don't care if he's an owner op oh man it's i'm gonna go broke hey man you can work here till you get back on your feet forget about it hand in hand in hand in hand in at different at every company i worked at that i thought was good enough for you to come to it it it, it turns out to be an extra ten thousand dollars a year if you do it consistently all year you're giving yourself a $10,000 raise that does not require no driving, no nothing. I want you to understand this because what we need to break y'all out of on here, we need to break y'all out of driving is the way I get paid. That is the way they want you to think to get paid. There are many ways to get paid in trucking. 
One of them is YouTube. It is YouTube. Because your, you know, your recruiting checks are ridiculous when you're YouTube. They're four or $5,000 on top of your driving check. That's no exaggeration. That's no exaggeration. You need to make, if you're at a place and they're not giving you a stack of, they're not giving you a, a stack of business cards, you have two options. You can start making videos about the company and how you make money and all that type of stuff. And you can do it and you can make some money, bro. On top of your driving checks. Let's say you've been driving two years. You know, I make about 60 grand a year. Another 10 puts you at 70. Let's say you do, you make 80 grand a year. Another 10 puts you at 90. This is the bone honest truth about what's going on out here. So when you see that number, oh, come over here, make 90 grand. They put safety bonuses and recruiting at least two people a year in that number. So I never, you would never hit that 90. You didn't recruit. So I'm going to tell you how the gang go from you passing cards out when you fuel and all that type of stuff or whatever's going on, you should be seeing at least four people a year, 365 chances. You should be seeing at least four people a year. You know, cats at the crib. And if you had a company that does, that does uh, training for students, you should be all them for nothing. Friends, you should be giving them cards, telling them, Hey, make you some money. Uh, oh, girl, your, your sister got a boyfriend, ain't trying to do nothing. Bam, he gets some money. Here it is. Go get yourself some money. Give him that car. Forget about it, you know. Make some money. I'll give it to you a different way. At Wiley, one recruit, $4,000. I will let you sit on that. So all the, oh, how I be successful, how I make more money, where the money at in the game, it's in recruiting, bro. It's a well-kept secret. I've recruited, LaShawn recruited, Jay recruited, you know, uh, the little guy recruited. It's so bad that, that the people get mad at you for doing it. Anything you do that is going to bring you some significant success, they'll get mad at you for you try and see some money. Recruit four people a year. That means if you're at Wiley and you recruit four people a year, $16,000, man. Somewhere around there. Yeah, 16 grand. Is that 16 grand? Yeah, that's 16 grand. Four, eight. Yeah, $16,000. Mm -hmm. On top of the fact, Wiley giving you 84 from the door. 90, 90, 100 grand. Company. Imagine if you was, if you was, if you was leasing somewhere. There's lease spots that give you a band, a person. These cats are recruiting on low, bro. That's why, you know, that's why they in these little, you know, these little groups. Talking about, hey, here I make this much. Oh my, 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 my. Uh, they on the Facebook group saying this is how much I made here. Why do you think they're doing that? And you hit them. Oh, what's going on there? Woo -doo -woo -doo -woo. Oh, I look, man, give my name. Talk to woo -doo -woo -doo -woo. they getting money, bro. Why can't you do it? It is the most selfless thing you possibly could do, isn't it? Yeah, but he signed up and you getting money off of him. He's about to make eighty grand a year. There's no better endorsement to a company than you working there. How is that a bad thing? Has it been a bad thing for you at that company? Now, if you had a company you're scared to even recruit, you don't need to be there. If you can't say, man, come over here, you, you, don't, you ain't happy at the place you're working at. That's the secret. That's the secret arrow. Recruiting. It's money left on the table. 
It's money left on the table. I've made a significant amount of money from recruiting all these years. And I know guys with no channel, but they're in every trucking group. Posting pictures of their truck, posting pictures of stuff they bought with the company, posting pictures of them buying a house. Posting, what do you think these drivers say? Oh, look, I bought my house. This is and that. What do you mean? What do you think dudes do after they see that? Where you work at? Where you work? Oh, you know, I work at Maverick or something. Give me the full name of go over there. Just bing. I mean, how much you think these YouTubers or your prime Maverick Swift, how much you think they're getting? You hear me? I've been at Wiley for, 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 for three months, got 30 applications. I'm not going to tell you who went through four grand a piece. That's the secret. You hear me? Now you are not don't have a platform like me, but you could do four five a week a year though. Easy. You know, five of them things about twenty grand, bro. Why leave let's say why leave the money on the table? You don't want an extra twenty thousand dollars? Why leave the money on the table? So and then they take that money and they'll come back to you and say, I know the lane. It's a lie, bro. It's a lie. They only have control of where the truck go half the time. 90% of the industry can't control where the truck goes. So the lane conversation is only for an elite group of people. And those dudes who know those lanes, they're not sharing them. They don't do videos. That's the truth. It's recruiting, bro. It's recruiting. Don't leave that 10 racks, 20 racks on the, on, on the table. It's simple as this. I'm about to, if you don't know the game, well, here out of the game, go. You pull up to the truck stop, you see a young buck. You see, you see somebody who looks distraught, angry, getting fuel. You hear me? Hey, man, we just got a few, we got a fuel raise, homeboy. Some people gonna say, nah, I'm good. Some people gonna say, take the car just to take it. They could take that car. Be driving down the street, something stupid happened in their company. They go to the car, sit right on the dash. They go to the car. You hear me? It's that simple. You in these trucking groups and discords and all this stuff, and people complain, I'm about to leave here. Ah, oh, bang. Take a picture of the car with your phone, send it to them DMS. Say, hey, man, come here, man. We just got a raise, bro. Just trying to spread the love. Forget about it. Done. That's why these cats got social medias, man. They keep it close to the vest. These, these YouTubers and dudes that's popular on here, they talk, we talk about it. I'm just getting you the drip because you paid the money to be in here. It's 10 to 20,000 on the table. You ain't touching. Man, hey, listen, I'm just trying to be a humble with you. You hear me? We're going to talk about time management and all that. I'm just getting you the drizzy. 